excited to share the latest on site creation and site template updates with you all this morning. So, or today, I guess. So I appreciate all of you uh, letting me join you and share a little bit. So over the past few months, over the last year, you have certainly seen us continue to ship more and more new site templates. And we truly believe that site templates make the process of sites easier. They give people a, a purpose for what they're trying to build and how they want to go about that. So with that, we've been working to create a set of updates that we believe will make it even easier. So today, when you go to create a site, you create the site and then you apply the template. But as we've seen that sometimes that is hard for people to do, or it makes it a little bit harder as people get started to go about this. So one of the things that we've done with site creation is we've made some updates to the UX for this. So now when you come in to create sites, you're first going to still get prompted with that create team site, create communication site. And then when you come in and you pick your sites, you're going to be taken directly into that template gallery. And so you're going to be picking your site template as you create your site, which gives people that great understanding, thinking about the purpose of my site as I'm creating it. So helping to ground people in reality and get them started right away. So as you can see, we've made a few updates here. We've changed the appearance. We've made this a little bit more concise and consistent. And then we've done a few things as well, like we've introduced a new uh, renamed a few of the templates to make them a little bit more easy to understand. So you'll see our standard team here, which is our regular team site that you would get uh, anytime you created a team site today. That would be what you get. And then you can see all of the great templates that we've put into place with this along with it. So you can see our event planning, our IT help desk, all of our great sites. So if you wanted to go into this even further, one of the things that we've done as a part of this, when you go in to look at the template details, is we've updated the template details to give more information about what you're getting as a part of the site template. So you can see you get the great listing of site capabilities that gives you sentences talking about what that is, and you get a what's included that includes what pages or lists or components you're going to get a part of this. And so you can still scroll and see that home page layout here. But you can also now see we have a preview site full screen, which takes you into an experience of now where you can actually preview every page, every list that comes as a part of this site template. So you can see I'm still able to scroll on my pages as I see them, but I'm also able to click through and see the other components of the template as well. So I'm able to see those pages and scroll through those pages to see what the content is, to see all of the great components of this template as a part of the template application experience. So I can see all of the great information that I could would get as a part of this template. And then I can always go back and pick a different template if I don't like what I'm seeing there, I decide I want to do something else with my site. So I can go in then and click on use template. And we've also updated our site creation experience. So as you name your site, so we're going to have a getting started site because we're using the onboarding template, you see I get an updated experience here that includes more details about the different steps in the site creation experience. Again, making it easier for people to understand what they're doing, what those requirements are, what the information that you see going through. And so you see we still have the ability to change the template. If I go through and decide at this step, you know what? it's not getting started I want to do. I need a project management site. I could go back and change that template. And as we go through, it walks me through, again, giving me more information about this as I'm going through. And then once I create the site, it's going to go ahead and you can see we've updated this to now show you that you're actually creating the site at this point. You're applying the template as in a team site. I could go ahead and start adding members to the site if I wanted to and, and going ahead and granting people access to the site. So I'm going to go ahead and, and grant Megan. She's the hardest working uh, marketing person that we have. We're going to go ahead and add Megan. Uh, maybe we want to go ahead and add Nestor. Uh, we want to give some different 
different people access to this, they will be granted access to the site as soon as it finishes. So you'll see we talk, go through the applying and then once we finish, it adds the users and redirects me to that site. So you can see a lot of great things that have been updated here just to make it a little bit easier as you go through the site creation process, giving you those templates as a part of the process, making it so once I hit the site with that template applied, I can easily get started updating my content, adding my own content and jumping in and, and getting going. So we can go through and, and build this out and really go and update this and add it the way that we want to. So really kind of tricking you know, people into getting their content going and giving them a little bit of easy information to get going. So we're really excited to have improved this process and have this available. So it's both team sites and communication sites. And as you look at this experience, you'll see we've replicated standard team, standard communication. Those are both the default templates that would be created today. We've added even more templates like our new brand central template that gives you more places to create different template types to look at. We've got our new brand central template. We've got our new organization home template, which has that great um, home site type experience that we can build out. So we've really got a lot of great templates to give people information and to get started quickly. And as always, we have the From Your Organization tab. I don't have any templates installed here um, from your organization, but you have the From Your Organization tab as well for that custom template experience. So truly continuing to build out and introducing new templates as well as introducing a new experience for templates as a part of the site creation experience, making it easier for you to get going and to get started. And if you've got your own custom templates installed, they'll be right there in the From Your Organization tab, and you can select those as a part of this uh, template creation and site creation process as well. So you would simply tab to the From Your Organization and pick that template to create from as well. So we've kind of updated this and given it a little bit of a refresh to give people some great uh, pointers and ways to get started quickly with building out their sites and their content. So that's kind of what I had to say. It's a little bit of a quick demo, but a great update that we hope that um, everyone will utilize and be able to get started quickly and easily. Kathy, uh, let's do a few questions. Um, what's your take? Because we, me and Kathy work super closely related on Lookbook and all of that. So the lookbook.microsoft.com is, is one of the classical examples of having templates available. And of course, a lot of those templates have been transforming to be within the product. Uh, we're not going to shut down lookbook.microsoft.com. We're looking into involving that a bit uh, in, in the future as well. More on that later. But what's your take related on what's available in here versus what's available in the Lookbook? Yeah, so they're both really great sets of templates. And one of the things that we have done is start to take inspiration from some of those lookbook templates. Um, if you look at the brand central template, um, this is a new one that we've just uh, released. It came out at the beginning of May for everyone. This is a template that's also very similar to the brand template that's available in the lookbook. So we really took an inspiration from some of the highly utilized sites in the lookbook and started bringing them into the product as well. So one of the things that you'll see is you'll start to see versions of the lookbook templates showing up in the product, and you'll see more and more of that. So that'll make it easier for whether you're starting from the lookbook or starting from within the product to use these different site templates. And so you can see these different templates being created and a lot of different information coming across between the two. Uh, but there's no right or wrong way between in-product templates templates and lookbook templates. They are both great sets of templates and resources for people to get started from. So it's uh, really great to see people getting started uh, with a template. We think it's a great way to uh, give people that easy access of what they want to do and how they should get started. Excellent. That was a, I'm going to go a few questions from the chat because there were some good things to mention. Now, on the from your organization tab, how do you get those templates available there? There was a question on that one on the side. Right. On the so side. these templates are the templates that you install via um, PowerShell into your tenant. And so you would set those templates up and install them as the site 
the site SharePoint admin, sorry, a little tongue tied this morning. And so once you add those in via the admin via PowerShell, that's when they'll appear there in the from your organization tab. So using the SharePoint on PowerShell, I can create, <clears throat> first of all, I can create the template and then I can add that to be available in the yes. UX. Excellent. That's good. Now, there was a really good uh, suggestion from somebody in the chat as well. Can we modify the out of the box template? So is it possible to take one of the out of the box templates, modify that a bit and then package that again? Yeah, so unfortunately right now that's it's not 100% available just because of the slight disparity um, as uh, Pages API is still coming on board and online for templates to include pages that are created by you. Um, but we do see that being something that will be 100% valid and reasonable in the future. And so that is what, what part of what we're planning for is the ability for you to update and edit the out of the box from Microsoft templates in the future. Yeah, that would be really cool. If if nothing else, so we, you could download the template, modify that a bit, and put it in the, from your organization. And that's really really cool setup. So, um, I think Todd was also asking: Is there a way of of uh, changing the order of the templates or assign the from your organization as the default entry in the UX? Not quite yet. We do have plans for how to make that available for you to be able to order the templates and the in the tabs, um, but we we don't have a timeline for that yet. But it is something that is top of our roadmap for us. Cool, cool, really good. Uh, and then there was a one thing which was a suggestion. It would be really cool if you could actually tie into approval workflow on the site creation as well. So basically having that for work, uh, approval workflow tied into this UX. Any thoughts on that? Yeah, so we have talked a little bit about this and we've uh, worked with our great friends in the admin side to talk about how we would like to enable this in the future. It's something that we have definitely talked about and have explored the ideas for, but we don't have a timeline for this as well. One thing we do have a timeline for is that we will um, default to the from your organization tab instead of the from Microsoft if you have used the PowerShell to disable or to turn off the from Microsoft templates so that your users would not land on a blank from Microsoft tab that they would then land on the from your organization uh, where you have um, added that content in. Now that will not be available on day one when this experience ships, but it will be something that we will follow along very quickly with, as well as in the future, being able to have you programmatically set that via PowerShell. Yep, really, really cool. Um, and then, so Carol was asking uh, quickly that she does not see necessarily the templates on a tenant. Is some of this rolling out or is it in the progress or What's the time? So yeah, so if you're not seeing these templates, your admin may have disabled or turned off the from Microsoft templates via PowerShell because we do allow that. So yeah. there is a way that as we go through with our each template that we ship, and we typically ship our templates in a group. So the last set of templates that we shipped, we shipped three site templates at the same time. Uh, we send out those message center posts and we do allow users, the admins, the SharePoint admins to say, I don't want these from Microsoft templates to show up. And so they're able to go in and do that one by one using the template ID or to disable them all up to say, I don't want these to display. I only want them to use my custom templates that we've created from your organization. So there is PowerShell to allow that to not display, which is why we're following up with the ability to um, not display the from Microsoft as the default and have it just go to the from your organization organization. Yeah, really cool. Thank you for that one. Stephanie, thank you for uh, sharing the link on the PowerShell yes, in, the, thank you. Uh, in the chat. So that was really good. And for those who cannot access the chat, we, by the way, are aware of that. Just letting you know, we're maxing out to uh, 1,000 attendees in the chats and Teams doesn't scale above that. So we'll fix that for the next uh, weekly call. We need to do some cleaning. So I do apologize on that. Um, and then there was a one more question uh, from Karen. Can we create site templates from one of the sites we have configured? So can I actually extract an existing site and create a site template out of that? 
Unfortunately, not yet. This is by far the top request that we have. And we have been working hard to enable this, but we do not have a current timeline for when you would be able to save site as template or create template from existing site. But this is something that we've been um, partnering heavily with the Pages API team for how we would be able to uh, make this process work. So we definitely see that coming in the future, but the timeline for when we will have it has not been um, updated yet. Yeah, good, good. Thank you, Kathy, on that one. I <clears throat> And I'm going to take the screen and share my screen, but thank you, Kathy. Really, really cool. Just to mention on that one, because I, I think somebody in the call might be thinking that, wait a minute, we had that safe side as a template in the past in on-premises or even in classic. And the answer for that one is, yes, you're 100% correct. However, that technology which we used back in the time when we enabled that within the UX was not future proven. So unfortunately, that functionality which was used for many years in on-premises only worked within a one specific version. So as within the SharePoint Online, we're releasing a new version every single week, that would have cost us a significant, let's say, pain points, and it's not a future proven technology. Safe side as a template, the, the original, the classic one is coming from 2010, I think we re-implemented that in 2010. Now it's 2023 and we need to have a future proven technology and implementation of the safe site as a template. And Kathy is for sure working on it, but as, as she said, uh, we need to have that pages API and pages support for storing the page information in the template as well. And that's after that's available, then we can finally enable that in the UX. Huge. Uh, I guess that's it. Thank you, Kathy. Really cool. And sorry for asking a lot of questions, but I think there was a lot of good questions in the chat, so it's good to get them covered. No, I love it. Great questions. I'll go back through the chat again and see if there's any that I didn't answer. Excellent. Thanks. Thanks, Kathy, for that one.